Imagine yourself on the verge of leaping into an enigmatic abyss. What potential experiences might unfold if, against all odds, you managed to survive the plunge? Where would your journey take you, and what captivating stories could you share upon your improbable return? The answers to these queries, as elucidated by Professor Richard Massey. As a distinguished researcher affiliated with the Institute for Computational Cosmology at Durham University and a Fellow of the Royal Society, Massey acknowledges the profound enigma that envelopes black holes. According to him, venturing beyond an event horizon is akin to crossing a boundary into the unknown. Once someone traverses this threshold, communication back becomes an impossibility. He adds, the overwhelming gravitational forces would tear them apart, leaving little chance for anyone to reach any destination. While this response might seem unsatisfying and painful, it aligns with expectations. Ever since Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity linked spacetime and gravity, suggesting the existence of black holes as remnants of massive stars, we've understood that these entities emerge from the demise of such stars. If the remnant core surpasses roughly three solar masses, gravity's dominance compels it to collapse into an infinitesimal singularity, constituting the core of a black hole. This resulting black hole wields an irresistibly potent gravitational pull, so intense that not even light can escape. Thus, arriving at the event horizon, that theoretical point where light and matter can only move inward, as proposed by Carl Schwarzschild, signifies a point of no return. Professor Massey explains that tidal forces would stretch an individual's body into atom-sized strands, an effect vividly called spaghettification, ultimately culminating in the obliteration of the object at the singularity. The notion of emerging elsewhere, perhaps on the opposite side, remains a fantastical notion. Over time, the scientific community has contemplated whether black holes might serve as conduits to distant galaxies or even pathways to alternate universes. This idea traces back to 1935 when Einstein and Nathan Rosen conceived the concept of bridges connecting disparate regions of spacetime. The notion regained traction in the 1980s when physicist Kip Thorne, renowned for his work on Einstein's theory of relativity, kindled discussions about the feasibility of physical travel through these bridges. I was initially captivated by physics through Kip Thorne's accessible book on wormholes, recalls Massey. Yet, the prospect of wormholes remains uncertain. Thorne, who advised the creators of the movie Interstellar, asserted in his book, The Science of Interstellar, that no observable objects in our universe could mature into wormholes. He noted that traversing these theoretical passages would likely remain confined to the realm of science fiction, lacking substantial evidence of black holes serving as conduits. The primary challenge stems from our inability to observe these phenomena up close. Photography of events within a black hole is unfeasible since light succumbs to their immense gravitational force, rendering them invisible to cameras. Currently, theory posits that anything venturing beyond the event horizon becomes integrated into the black hole. Due to time dilation near this boundary, this process appears to unfold exceedingly slowly, impeding rapid insights. Douglas Finkbeiner, a professor at Harvard University, notes, the prevailing understanding suggests they lead to the culmination of time. He adds, an observer distant from the event would witness their astronaut companion's approach to the black hole, marked by a shift towards red hues. However, the friend would plummet beyond forever, although interpreting this remains a philosophical challenge. Absolutely, if black holes indeed serve as gateways to other sectors of galaxies or alternate universes, there would likely exist a counterpart on the opposite side. Could this counterpart be a white hole? Russian cosmologist Igor Novikov introduced this concept in 1964. Novikov's theory posits that a black hole links with a white hole existing in the past. Unlike black holes, white holes would allow light and matter to escape, yet they would repel any attempts at entry. Continued exploration into the potential link between black and white holes has been ongoing. In a 2014 study published in Physical Review D, physicists Carlo Rovelli and Hal M. Haggard proposed that a classic metric satisfying the Einstein equations exists in the spacetime outside a finite region where matter collapses into a black hole and subsequently emerges from a white hole. This implies that all matter previously engulfed by black holes could be expelled, and upon their demise, black holes might transition into white holes. Contrary to obliterating absorbed information, the collapse of a black hole could be halted and instead undergo a quantum rebound, enabling information to escape. 
This possibility lends support to the idea posited by former Cambridge University cosmologist and theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking in the 1970s. Hawking explored the notion that black holes emit particles and radiation, referred to as thermal heat, due to quantum fluctuations. According to Douglas Finkbeiner, Hawking suggested that black holes are not eternal. In his 1976 publication in Physical Review D, Hawking calculated that radiation would lead to a black hole's energy loss, causing it to shrink and ultimately vanish. However, he asserted that the radiation emitted would be random, devoid of information about the materials absorbed. Consequently, the explosion of a black hole would result in a loss of significant information. Hawking's proposal generated a conflict with quantum theory, which upholds that information cannot be eradicated. In physics, lost information becomes increasingly challenging to recover, rendering it impossible to discern the past or future. This concept gave rise to the black hole information paradox, puzzling scientists for years. Some argued that Hawking's theory was flawed, and he himself acknowledged an error during a scientific conference in 2004. So, does the concept of black holes emitting preserved information through a white hole hold merit? In a 2013 study published in Physical Review Letters, Jorge Pullen at Louisiana State University and Rodolfo Gambini at the University of the Republic in Montevideo applied loop quantum gravity to black holes. They discovered that while gravity intensified towards the core, it diminished, propelling incoming material into another region of the universe. These findings bolstered the idea of black holes as portals, where singularity is absent, and information is retained. Nevertheless, physicists Ahmed Elmhiri, Donald Merolf, Joseph Polchinski, and James Sully proposed an alternate theory known as the AMPS firewall hypothesis. Their calculations indicated that quantum mechanics could transform the event horizon into a blazing wall, instantly incinerating anything that contacts it. This notion contradicts Einstein's general theory of relativity, which suggests that a person crossing the event horizon would experience no extraordinary distress due to free fall. Hawking entered the discourse once again in 2014, suggesting the absence of an event horizon, hence, nothing to burn. Instead, he proposed an apparent horizon generated by gravitational collapse. This horizon temporarily detains matter and energy before dissolution, aligning with quantum theory's stance on information preservation. Hawking even questioned the existence of black holes, proposing they be redefined as metastable bound states of the gravitational field. In this view, singularity is non-existent, and although the apparent field moves inward due to gravity, it never centralizes into a dense mass. Consequently, emitted matter would lack the same form as the absorbed information, making it impossible to discern the latter from the former. In conclusion, the enigma surrounding black holes continues to captivate researchers and will consume substantial scientific efforts for the foreseeable future. As scientists delve deeper, new hypotheses emerge, such as the suggestion that remnants of evaporated black holes contribute to dark matter. Furthermore, Hawking's research on black holes and soft hair, released in 2018, posits that zero-energy particles linger around the event horizon, suggesting that information is not lost but rather captured. While these theories spark discussions, there remains much to uncover before we truly grasp the mysteries of black holes.